What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Uber Adventures. I'm John and today we are taking a look at a Sonic 211 VDB by Venture RV. It is a fantastic RV. It is 27 feet from tongue to back bumper. So it's a decent size. It's not overly big. Most current uh, 1500 trucks like an F-150, the Silverado 1500, the Ram 1500 can pull this. So this makes a very awesome option because it is a fiberglass front to back and even on the roof. Most RVs aren't actually uh, fiberglass even on the roof. So this RV is fantastic, but we're gonna go ahead and jump into this. However, before we do that, I wanna let you know, I do sell RVs at a great outdoor RV in Cumby, Texas. I will link all the information down in the description. I will also put a phone number here and my email so you know a way to contact me if this is something that interests you or any of the, the uh, RVs you see on my YouTube channel interests you or even if you have any questions or whatever, I'm here for you, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start taking a look at it. We're gonna go from front to back and we're gonna go to the other side and we'll take a look at the whole thing. So let's go ahead and jump into this. All right, so we're gonna start from the front. From the top down, you do see the Sonic logo along with the window. So again, I love the Ventures. They tend to put windows in almost everything that they have. You also have two tanks of propane and then you have a power tongue jack also lit, just like you know most tongue jacks have this. Uh, it's extend, retreat, off, but we'll leave it on because I do like the aesthetic of it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go to the left. As you can see, I kind of like this gray. Actually, let's go back to the front. One of the major things is yes, this front goes all the way to the roof and then all the way to the back. It is a one piece and it is all fiberglass, so it's pretty awesome. Coming around to the side, we're gonna go ahead and open the pass-through storage, which the pass-through storage is very awesome. It's large. It's also lit. Now you do have a fairly large awning. And again, I will get you all the specs uh, on this RV, including the length of the awning. Um, I do know some by heart, but a lot of times I have to go back and refer back to uh, basically the manual and know the exact length of things. But the LEDs underneath is absolutely beautiful. And then you come down, you have your door, your handle, and one of my favorite features are your sturdy steps. Something you don't see in every RV. Again, I would classify this as a luxury entry level RV. So this is fantastic. Going in, we do have Asdell. And if you would like to know more about Asdell, I'll be more than happy to explain it to you. Just let me know down in the comments and I will continue on. You also have a bottle opener, but I would also say you could put a leash on there as well so the dog won't run too far astray. And then you do have the weather shield and the 211 VDB uh, for the model number. Coming in over here, you do have the fresh fill tank, which is 39 gallons, I do believe. Uh, so you do have quite a bit of size. You also have the gray and black tanks. Those are 30 gallons a piece. Now you do have a place to hook up your TV. You have a cable hookup, you have power, and you can just bring out your TV if you're tailgating or whatever the case may be. If you're really showing up to camp and you brought the TV for the football game on Sunday or whatever the case may be, it's a great opportunity to enjoy the outdoors and watch TV, my kind of people. Uh, above you do have your speakers, which is super awesome. So you can actually get some decent sound on the outside and you can play your TV through that as well. So coming on back, it is a dual axle. And then we do have a compartment right here. Let's take a look and see what's inside. All right, so inside we do have a flat top grill. So you do have a kitchen inside. And then you also have a little uh, refrigerator, mini fridge. Now, if you decide that you don't wanna use this grill, that's totally fine because there is a hookup right there for propane and so you can bring your own grill if you prefer to do that unless of course you want to bring charcoal now on the back of course you can see that the asdell fiberglass comes all the way down wrapping all the way down and goes all the way to the bottom so again it's just one piece of asdell and fiberglass all the way to the top 
all the way to the front and that makes things so much better. It's fully walkable, of course, but it's all fiberglass. And like I said before, most RVs do not have fiberglass tops. It is also pre-wired for your backup camera. You also have a spare tire on this RV. And then of course you do have a pass-through here. Well, pass-through kind of, but a good storage compartment, but you do have a door there. So I guess technically it is a pass-through. Coming back out, you do have your hookups for your satellite and cable, if you find a place that has it. And then of course, all the tail lights, all the lights around are literally LED. Now coming around to the driver's side of the RV, one of the best ways you can tell that an RV is a bunk is if you have windows stacked on top of each other. So that makes, like if you're walking up and you're like, ooh, I kind of like that. And then you're like, Oh, it's got double windows. I don't need a bunk or, ooh, that's perfect. That's what I need. Now you know that that's a bunk house. Coming down, this is the door to the pass-through and the storage compartment. It's a different angle. So maybe you can use this length as opposed to the other length to get things in that are a little bit longer than what the other side would allow. Again, all the safety lights are still LED, so that's really cool. You have a six gallon hot water tank and then here's your gray water and your black water release and again those are 30 gallons a piece you have a city water connector so if you're plugging in a hose from the place that you're camping at that's where you would go there and then if you need to flush out your black tank this is how you do it here you just pull that out put your hose in there and you're good to go and if you're spending time at the beach, I always tell people we all have crevices and sometimes you didn't wash it all off at the beach. There's a chance to do it outside so you don't have to track it in inside. So we have a fairly decent, but not too big of a slide. It is on the Schwinn Tech style slide rails, which are fantastic for slides this size. They're super safe and super reliable and you do have a window located on the slide. And then in front of the slide, you do have one more window coming down. You also have the other side of your pass-through. Super nice. All right, let's go ahead and take a look inside. Again, we have the sturdy steps, which for a lot of people that are a little bit older or maybe mobile impaired, uh, you know, walking impaired or whatever you want to call it, as far as like, difficulty of lifting legs and all that kind of stuff and worrying about falling back this is probably the best option for them because again you put your, all your weight and you don't have to worry about it flexing or moving the rv or anything like that so super awesome all right we're going to start from right to left typically i go back to front or front to back i don't remember anyway so this is actually a murphy bed so you do have a couch that you can have it set up and then it will fold down into a bed. So let's take a look at that. All right, so this is actually quite easy. You just need to get your hand underneath the couch right here, lift it up and it will automatically fold down. I'll push in these cushions just to make it a little bit more flat all the way across. And then you have a single latch in the very center. Just pull that down and it automatically will fold down. It's not too heavy, pretty easy. And then it does have a special mattress. So I would definitely get a topper that's a little bit soft. And then this piece folds back and you got your bed. Quite simple, quite fast. And one of the main things that you can see when I did that is you can see that big window. Now, if that window is bothering you, especially first thing in the morning, you close that and it's gonna pretty much get rid of all the light that you're dealing with. So super, super awesome. I do love that. So we'll push it back up. Now when the bed's up, obviously you don't even have to worry about it. And let's go ahead and put the bed in the opposite direction. Simple as that, fold this in. That was a little excessive. Maybe I should have not slammed it. And then we just push it up, uses a little bit more muscle, but still not hard to do. Close that, that part's done. Now, when it comes to closing 
or lifting the couch back into its normal position, I'll put my hand back here to kind of give it a little bit of leverage and then push it down and you're back to normal. No time flat. And now you got a perfect seat, super comfortable. You can have good conversation. It's a good place to sit and a great place to take a nap if you need. So I think Murphy beds get kind of a bad rep, but I think it's super convenient, especially if you're trying to stick with an RV this size and be as able to sleep as many people as this little RV can. So we're talking about two, four, six, eight people can sleep in this little RV. So it's fantastic for families and friends. So let's keep on taking a look at it. All right. <clears throat> One thing that I'm really happy that most RVs have kind of gone to in fact, we don't even offer an RV currently that has a traditional RV fridge. So all of the fridges that we've been getting lately are 12 volt fridges, whether they're like a mid size like this or a smaller one, or even a full size fridge like you would have in a residence house, a residential house rather. Um, so this is super awesome. They are a little bit better insulated that I've noticed. And I believe they actually run more efficiently. The only difference is it's not going to run off of any gas. It's only going to be electric. Now, if we do a complete 180, we can see the kitchen. Now I was looking all over the place for the panel where I can flip on the lights and all that kind of stuff. Now it is very integrated. If you look right here, you really can't even tell that the switches are inside of this panel. The only way that you are able to know without obviously reading about it is there's a little hinge right there against the wall. And you just pull this out and you have the majority of your light switches, your slide, your awning. You have more USB plugs right here. And then of course you have a complete outlet up top. So very convenient and very hidden. That's one of the things I do love. It's also already pre-wired for internet. So that's very nice. And I love the fact that you can go with an RV on this level and still get your farm sink in a matte black uh, faucet. I love matte black. I think it's such a good look. It does come with a cutting board. You can use it for looks or you can actually use it with a hood range above your three burner stove. It's a Furion stove. And of course I call this child safe, kind of. The big asterisk there, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. So if your kid accidentally bumps or you actually bump, you know when it's turned on and if gas is possibly coming out, you close that. So I would technically leave this light on all the time, just so I know that nobody's bumped into it. Or you can push it down and have both lights. So you have that and you have a light down here in your oven. So I do love that. And below that you have your heater and that will melt you, <laughs> but in a lot of places you need that, especially this year with the super cold front that came down, that would have been very convenient for most people. And then coming all the way back up, we have our Furion microwave. It is a traditional microwave with a rotating plate, of course. And then you have storage here and below the sink as well. All right, so we have a booth style table and seat seats chairs however you want to say it um it does also turn into a bed you have plenty of storage within these you have entrance or access rather in the front or if you need something a little bit bigger to be able to get into it you can always lift from the top they are super comfortable and plenty of space easily for uh, three on each side depending on the size of the kids or adults for that matter big beautiful window and coming around, we have a TV on a swivel. Coming in over to the left of that, you have your stereo. It is Bluetoothable. And again, you do have two zones, one inside and one outside. Coming down from there, you have storage top to bottom. All the way. Lots and lots of storage. And you do have an outlet on the very bottom. And that's your fuse panel coming back up you have your two bunks now I will say that this is more than enough for adults 
and you could sleep two adults on each level, no problem, and probably like 30 kids if you're willing to pile them on top of each other. Cubic square, or square, square foot, cubic foot, yeah, cubic foot, so. <laughs> And then of course those are your windows you got the one on the bottom and of course you got the one on the top helps with claustrophobia trust me i know and again tons and tons of sport uh space up here as well so and they can also have their privacy now this little guy is actually kind of cool so this has the mechanical jacks that you either get out there with a spanner or you can uh, use i use a drill on mine but this is basically a level instead of having, you know, the little green levels with the, the bubbles on it. This is basically built into the RV and you can hook it up to your phone and you can level it uh, with your phone and you don't have to um, go keep on looking at the levels on the side of your RV. This is a great way to do that. And of course you have your thermostat coming into the bathroom. Say hi, bright light. It is a medicine cabinet. Again, I think this is needs to become more common in houses, but every house has these giant mirrors now. So I guess that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Back to the matte black faucet with a metal sink and a little bit of storage underneath and a little bit of storage to the right of it down there. Now, what's really crazy is usually in RVs this size, these toilets would be just plastic. This one's actually porcelain. So that's super awesome. Coming up, you have outlet and then you have uh, the tank heater. And then over here, you have all your different gauges. So you have your battery, how full your battery is, your fresh tank, your black tank, your gray tank. And then you have your water pump and your propane gas water heater and your electric water heater. Turn them both on you'll get a little bit extra hot water as your shower goes on. As I sit on the toilet, I have quite a bit of space to sit. Now this turns into an armrest. I will not deny that. So I wouldn't put a whole lot of stuff along the, this, if you don't want to, if you want it to get, not get knocked over the, <laughs> you have your shower. It's actually got a little bit of a lip, so you could treat it like a bathtub. So you could actually bathe a child in here, not too too difficult. However, there is no faucet that dra that rolls down, so you'd have to fill it using the actual shower head. But it's a decent sized shower. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this. I'm going to go over all the technical specs right now. And then after that, I'll see you all later. All right, let's go over all the technical numbers and all the fun stuff that everybody always wants to know uh, we're going to start with the dimensions of the actual rv like i said earlier in the video it is 27 foot long from tongue to bumper or really in this case to the spare tire the width of it is seven and a half feet so it's a little bit smaller than a lot of other rvs that are typically eight feet wide uh, the height of it this is from the very top of the ac to the very ground bottom of the to the ground uh, which is 10.33 feet and the interior height is 6.83 feet so if you're seven feet tall this might not be your option now the weight of the rv dry is 4600 pounds the payload capacity is 1290 pounds and then the hitch weight is 600 pounds now the holding tanks you have one fresh water tank it's 39 gallons one gray water tank, it's 30 gallons, and one black water tank, which is also 30 gallons. You do have the two propane tanks. They are 40 gallons combined. The awning is 14 feet in length, and it is power retractable. Now, like I said, the, the RV does sleep eight. So two would be on the top bunk, two would be on the bottom bunk, two would be on table and chair area. And then of course the Murphy bed folds out into a place for two people to sleep. The air conditioning is 15,000 BTUs and the heater is 20,000 BTUs. The hot water tank is six gallons. It is both electric and propane. And of course you can still Bluetooth the audio and all that kind of stuff. So 
yeah, so that covers pretty much all the technical aspects. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all enjoyed this RV. And until next time, y'all have a wonderful day and keep camping.